Okay, for the next thinker would be um, Max the Magician. He's the visual spatial perception. Oh, and back, Yolanda's memory trigger is a bookmark, a spider bookmark. There's a pattern in the book, and you, you um, cut yarn legs that hang down from the bookmark, and so they each have that for Yolanda. <coughs> Max the Magician, visual spatial perception, um, dealing with shapes and patterns. This is the one where I had an experience with a student that made me realize how important it is to start to recognize the different ways kids think and where their strengths are. This little boy had Tourette syndrome, and he was very disruptive in class. Um, couldn't control his his the jerking motion and blurting out. Well, when we did visual spatial thinking, he showed up as very strong in that area of thinking. And so we included him in the small group thinking. And it was really neat to see, there were some students, I think, the ones that probably would eventually <laughs> test as superior cognitively gifted, who were in all my thinking groups. There were some who just stood out in certain areas, and he was one that had not been in a thinking group. He came to the visual spatial group. He was very excited about it, and he was um, having a lot of trouble with his tics as we were going down to my classroom to do the activity. Well, when we got there, I had them do, it's the next example in your packet, it's the um, Max's, mirror, Max's mirror dominance. And this takes a lot of concentration. It's a small group activity, but they have to really look at the details and they have to match the dominoes with the mirror image of that domino. And if they put the whole train together, the last piece and the first piece will be matches. So that's how it's self-checking. I gave them their directions, gave them their packet of dominoes, and I think I have some packets back there with Max the Magician. He is right here, some of the cards. They each got their pack and they worked with a group. It took them 20 to 30 minutes to complete the activity. And this little boy, he never had one tick the whole time he was concentrating and working on this activity. And it was like, wow, that is amazing. So I went back and talked to his teacher and we shared that information with mom so she could maybe start to look into some visual spatial activities. And the teacher then I said, maybe when you're reading a book in class and he's listening, maybe you can just, um, have him in the back working on an activity like this so that he can, you know, he can still, he can concentrate on that, but he can still be listening to you and he won't be as disruptive. So that was just a very fascinating thing to find out. Hi, my name is Dodie Merritt and this is the Primary Education Thinking Skills Program, or PETS as we like to call it. It focuses on the 21st century skills of critical and creative thinking. My colleagues and I bring together over 65 years of experience in the classrooms in putting together a variety of activities in six units that focus on visual, convergent, divergent, and evaluative thinking for primary students.